Hey everybody, it's Al with Bobcad. So today I wanted to go through a little sign making lesson. We're going to do some pocketing with some raised letters and then we'll profile out around our sign. So let's go ahead and get started here. We're going to create a new file. Uh, if you've been following along recently for the woodworkers, the first step I do is create a layer called stock. And then from here, I'm going to draw out the stock size that I'm working with. Today is going to be a 24 by 24 in the uh, lower left-hand corner. Okay, so that's my stock. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set up my job. So I'm going to do a new job, milling job, rectangular stock. It's going to be three-quarter thick. Could be MDF, could be wood. No big deal. All right, got my stock set up. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do, I got my stock and my job set up. The next thing I'm going to do is draw the part. So the part is going to be, let's see, we're going to do maybe a 12 by 7. Uh, we're going to push it um, off the corner of the stock and we'll choose OK. All right, so we can turn the stock off and just focus on the part. Uh, I want to round off these corners here, so I'm going to do arc uh, snap uh, two inches. Sure, that looks good. We'll do some of that there. All right, so what we want to do is cut these circles away. Now, we've talked about using quick trim before where you can click on what you want to delete and get rid of it. Um, because there's four of these, that takes a little more effort. So instead, I'm going to use a new function. Uh, this is 2D booleans. Uh, we're going to subtract them. Uh, I'm going to select the rectangle first. So shift, left click, spacebar. And then I'm going to window pick the four circles, spacebar, and that will break that away. Okay, now if I want to change the shape a little bit, you know, because this is kind of kind of blocky in sense. If I want to change it, I might come in and use something like deform. This will allow me to add some curvature on the top or bottom just to kind of change it a little bit, make it look a little bit different. So that looks good. So that gives me that shape. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I may want to move it up a little bit if I'm going to do that to make sure that it fits in my stock. So we'll move that in just a second. Okay, let's add a frame. So we want like an edge or an offset from here. So we'll go to other offset. Uh, shift, left click, space bar. We want this to go to the inside. Let's bump it up a little bit, give a little more of a frame. And we'll say, okay. All right, so that gives us that. The next thing we want to do is throw some text in here. So I'm going to go to uh, text. This is going to be Bob. Uh, you can use any font you want. I'm just going to go with this Arial Black, make it two and a half, and then we'll kind of move this until it's right about in the center. And there you go. So that's the sign that we're going to make. Now, I do want to move it up a little bit, so I'm going to choose Translate, select what, what I want to work with, and then I just want to make sure that it's up and out of the way of the edge of the stock, which it is. Now, uh, the first thing I want to do is I want to come in here and I want to pocket out all this material, leaving the letters raised. So we're going to add a two-axis feature. We're going to select our geometry. It's going to be uh, shift, shift, left click on the inside profile, and then left click on the text, space bar. That will give us our geometry, our depth. We're going to just go a quarter inch deep. Next we're going to do a pocket routine. Next, uh, we're going to jump over to the tool size. This is going to be an eighth inch end mill. Uh, we can come in here and adjust our speeds and feeds. We're going to make this 50 and 15 for this example. Okay, so you got a zigzag offset in, offset out. I'm going to choose a zigzag. I'm going to use 100% of my cutter and I'm going to cut at a 45 degree angle. And then I also want to do a profile before. So this will cut out the inside and outside, and then it will clean up the material between it. I find that to be pretty a pretty good option when working with text. No stock on the wall for finish. We're going to do this in one depth of cut. Let's go ahead and compute. 
and that will give us our pocketing routine to remove the material. Uh, the next thing I want to do, and I'm just going to rename this, um, I would normally rename this pocket uh, so I can uh, make sure I know what that is. Okay, so then I'm going to come in here, right click, mill to axis, select geometry. I'm going to select the outside shape, space bar, next. This is going to go 750 all the way down or 755 to punch through. Okay, this is going to be a profile finish. I'm going to jump to the tool. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to the tool crib and then I'm going to grab the tool that I'm already using. All right, so same tool. This is going to be 50. This is going to be 15. All right, next. Uh, all of this is fine. I just want to add multiple steps. I'll take a quarter inch at a pass. Next, lead. I'm going to do a little right angle lead in, 100 thou, just so it starts off the part and finish. Now, what I want to do is go to default chain start point, right click, modify. I'm going to click on this corner here and I want it going uh, clockwise. So I click on the arrow to change the direction. Space bar. Right click on profile finish and compute and that gives me my profile cut to cut around the outside of the part. So that's, uh, that's what we're looking at. Uh, I'll run this through a simulation. Uh, this way I can see uh, what it's going to look like. So I'll play this through and you can see it cuts out all the material and then it cuts out around the outside, which is exactly what I wanted. And then the last thing that I would do is just uh, post and save as. Post your code, save it in the directory you want to, and then here you got all your code to run that routine. So just a quick pocketing lesson for sign makers. If you guys have any questions, comments, or feedback, uh, just let me know. All right, thanks a lot, guys.